What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> uh, so this month I did a poll and I asked if you guys would like me to start doing my Boxy Charm and Ipsy Plus together instead of separate. And I think all but like one person said yes to them together. So I got my Boxy Lux. So this month it'll be Boxy Lux versus Ipsy Plus, which is slightly different because the pay or the price is different, but I got my Boxy Lux on time and my Ipsy was supposed to be there like a day after, but then for some reason it was held in Compton for like a whole week, which is like a 45 minute drive from me. So I was like, can I just come pick that up so I can make my video? <laughs> so I believe after tax, California tax and shipping, Ipsy comes out to almost 25, it's like 24 something. And then, ooh, Boxy Charm Lux comes out to 50. But this is only every third month. Right? I think I'm saying that right. It's four times a year, I think. Um, so there is, although there is a price difference, um, I'm still going to do it when I get Boxy Lux. So I'll try and always do both of them together. So I just have to go through things quicker. So we'll do Ipsy real quick. Okay, so like I said, this is the March Glam Bag Plus. Here's the pamphlet. I did do an add-on this month, um, so I took that out first. I had no idea it was this tiny. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I hope it wasn't much. It's the Illamasqua Hydro Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel. It says the best-selling clear gel instantly helps skin feel hydrated and smoothed. This reminds me of like... Tatcha's goth cousin or sister or whoever the hell. Mm, it smells very perfumey. There it is in there. I am slightly confused because in the picture they look like these cool little like clear boba looking gel things, balls. If I can find the picture I will add it in here and I will show you the difference. So the first thing that came in my box is from Pure Liss. I never know if it's Pure Liss, Pure Lissy. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It is a Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. Hydration, fine line prevention, perfect for under makeup. It's good for normal, dry, and sensitive skins. I think I'm gonna keep it sealed for now. So we won't know if it is a Blue Lotus one. But here is the packaging, it's pretty cute. I do know that my skin likes this brand, so it will work well with me. The next item I'm pulling out is by, I don't know why I'm super iffy with this, with this company. It's by Real Her. Um, it's called a matte liquid lipstick. It is a matte liquid lipstick in I Am Adaptable. It's a red color. Well, the packaging's cute. There it is, it has like a sparkly cap. I'm gonna open it, I'm keeping it doesn't really have a scent and it's just your basic blue undertoned classic red it is very pretty I will give this a try like I said I don't know why I'm always iffy about them I think it sounds I sound like an asshole but their packaging just doesn't like wow me usually that was really cute but usually it just looks so boring. I don't know. I don't know. The next thing in here is from Pixie by Petra and it is their lash lift. Um, this was sealed. I really like that it came sealed. I feel like our mascaras never come sealed in these boxes and it's kind of like ooh. But it is in black. I always love their packaging. Like this cute minty color and then usually the logo is in like a rose gold color. So just a standard little applicator there. And there is, let's see. What the hell is this? <gasps> How cool. What the hell? So there was like another little line here and I wanted to see why. And I pulled out a tiny one. I'm assuming for your bottom lashes. I feel like that's pretty freaking cool. Huh. 
I've actually never tried their mascara and now I'm super excited too because I always happen to get black mascara under my eyes. The next thing in here whoa, is I feel like we got, did we get these last month or the month before? Uh, they were fair brushes. We got gold ones. These are silver and there looks to be like five in here. They do, they sound like cheap paint brushes. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. They don't feel like high quality, but that's okay. So yeah, here's the few of them. So like a little blending brush, a real thick blending. These almost look the same, these two here. A little angled one and an eyeshadow brush. Um, I f I love fat blending brushes. I know a lot of people complain because their eyes aren't that big. But me, I do these huge blown out looks. So these are perfect for me. And then the last thing in here is from Huda Beauty. It's, oh yes. It's Mauve, Obs Ooh, Mauve Obsessions. I... Oh, it's so tiny. These always look so big to me online, but they're so little. I I'm not complaining. It looks... These colors are fucking beautiful. Look at those. So, the only palette I've tried from her is the new nudes one. I had to return it because I realized it was burning my eyes. Hopefully, I don't have that same issue with this guy because I'm really freaking hyped to use this. I'll do a few swatches because I can't not. Ooh. Oh my god. These mattes feel buttery. More buttery than the shimmers do. Okay. The swatches aren't that impressive, but I'm still excited, all right? Yeah, those are not good swatches at all. Hopefully, hopefully it performs better than that. All right, so let's quickly go through the prices so we can move on to Boxylux. The uh, Pure Lease, does it say how I say it? It doesn't. The Pure Lease uh, Moisturizer. It's $45. I feel like it's a small tube. No fucking way. The fair brushes were $50. $50. I'm telling you, they do not feel like $50 brushes. The Pixie by Petra mascara was $18. I'd be down to pay $18 for that. I do not mind. The Real Her lipstick is $14. And then the Huda Beauty palette was 27 so that comes out to 154 dollar value overall i am fairly pleased with that i'm just annoyed with that Elamasca thing that looked like it was going to be full size and they put a picture of the full size but then send you this tiny sample and that was an add-on so um yeah well, i already had all my opinions on everything so We'll move on. So then we've got this boxy Lux, which feels freaking heavy. Um, I think this is Levy and Rose. But there's the pamphlet. It's adorable. It's rosy. Has all the products back here. And then right on top. Looks like a bag. Here is the cute little bag that it comes, it comes with. That's the first item. Look at that cool freaking color. It's like a weird, hollow, rose gold color. Um, I do have to say, it comes wrapped in paper, and that paper sticks to the bag really bad. Can you see all those like papery bits? <laughs> all in here. And for some reason it won't like come off all the way, so. But yeah, it's a fairly decent sized, as long as you don't have anything too large. That's actually really cute. I'm assuming it's a BoxyCharm exclusive. The next thing in here is from Iconic London. It's an eyebrow cushion. I got it in the shade medium. Let's see what this cushion is about. So here is the packaging. It's like this mirrored goldy color. It has a big mirror in here. <gasps> There's like this little folded tool in here that you can open. 
So you have an angled brush here and a little spoolie on this side. And then, oh, it's so weird. It's like a weird little cushiony ink, ink pot. I have to try it. I did it right there, but and then I put the darker color here. Let's see. It's very odd, it's different. I'll have to see how I can work this on my brows. I can't tell if it's too dark, but <laughs> it's kind of fun and different and it makes me excited to try it. So kudos for BoxyCharm for trying something different. The next thing I grabbed are some Lily Lashes. Um, so it's limited edition faux mink lashes. So here they are. But yeah, I, there's not much to say. It's a pair of lashes. They look pretty. They look like they'll make your lashes look much fuller. Um, I don't wear lashes often. Unless we have like a special occasion to go to. You know what I mean? The next thing I pulled out are some motor brushes, which are actually one of my favorite brushes. Um, they're fairly priced and they're always soft. They're always, I love them. It says it's a powder and a soft glow brush. I don't know. Are there heavy glow brushes? So I'm going to assume this is the powder brush. I guess it could be. And this is the soft glow brush. Um, <laughs> this powder brush feels like a little chode. He's like so stumpy and fat. <clears throat> and then we got this little tall and skinny guy. This is a very weird floppy glow brush hmm. but yeah but there's pink I mean this cute pinky color these feel a lot nicer than the fair brushes and I bet they are cheaper next thing is from cover effects I've actually heard a lot of controversy <laughs> controversy oh my god I can't say it a lot of people have been pissed over this. Um, first off, did I get the right shade? I got the right shade, no way. I got light medium. Um, so a month or two before we were getting this box, BoxyCharm, and their CEO was like, you need to go take the quiz so we can get the right color to you, blah, 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 blah. They kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Long story short, I guess they didn't use the test results and just sent everyone whatever they felt like sending them so like people that are as pale as me were getting the very dark one that doesn't work for them I mean both are beautiful here's the palette this is the light medium one the medium dark one has such gorgeous deep tones to it like the, even the blush is so gorgeous but it just if I got that it wouldn't work for me at all because I'm super freaking pale um, <laughs> but I actually really can't wait to use this. So yeah, it has those two highlighters. I don't know what a brightener is, to, if I'm being honest. Maybe for like inner eye brightener, there's a contour, a blush, and then a finishing powder. But the finishing powder looks shimmery, is it? Mm, there's a slight shimmer to it. I couldn't show you because it's a finishing powder. But yeah, I actually can't wait to mess with this. It looks like a gorgeous palette and I'm glad I got the right shade. The next thing in here, oh my god, that's why it's heavy. There's a uh, <laughs> It, it's It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. I have actually used this before and I do like it. It is a pricier item as far as I remember, but I believe this is the full price. Um, it's a glass jar, so that's why the freaking box is so heavy. I'm almost done with my moisturizer now, so I will probably use this one after. There's not too much of a scent to it. If anything, it semi smells lemony to me. Oh my lord, we still have four items. So the next thing in here is from Becca. It is the ultimate lipstick love in the shade tulip I said it before I'm not a fan of normal lipsticks Ooh. 
Oh. It comes off so satisfyingly. <laughs> Here is the color I got. It is a very pretty color. Do I swatch it or no? I'm going to swatch it. It does feel very creamy. Here is the color. Tulip. I just... Like, how do you ladies wear... Well, it doesn't have to be ladies. How do you people wear normal lipsticks and, like, eat or drink or go throughout your day without getting, like, lipstick chin or having it gone throughout the day? I don't know. I feel spoiled by liquid, li liquid lipsticks. The next item in here is from Wander Beauty. I don't know if this company has a shit ton of money, but... I feel like they are promoting the hell out of their company right now. Like, they're in every box. I always see their ads everywhere. I don't, are they newer? Are they trying to pick up momentum? I don't know. It is a lift-off purifying and brightening peel-off mask. This one I did happen to see on BoxyCharm. Oh. And I did see that they specifically made this color for this month's box. They made it like a rose gold to match everything else. So I don't know what it normally looks like. I could always use a nice peel off mask. And then, ooh, this goes with the theme too. The next thing is from Deborah Lipman. It's a pair of nail polishes. I do happen to know that I love Deborah Lipman's nail polishes. I used to get them all the time. Now I try and only do gel. So, we got two colors in here's Modern Love and Oh Donna. I'm doing swatches real quick because my nails are naked. So here are the two colors. There is Modern Love. This one is Oh Donna. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this one because I thought it would be more of a top coat. But they're actually both really pretty. And I do need to do my nails. So. And then the last thing is a Morphe palette. I got 15D Day Slayer. Let's see. I know this one, there were like, I don't know how many variations, but I know there were, you can get a few different ones. <gasps> oh my lord. Ooh. All right, I didn't even show you the outside. It's just like a little black plastic outside. Look at these colors. Whoa! I wish that's kind of better. I know a lot of people are getting over like warm tones, but these orangey colors in real life look so much more orange and they, oh, I love them. I could not swatch the oranges. Why do I feel like this palette swatched better than the Huda Beauty palette? Look at those oranges. I can't wait to play with that. Uh, yeah. I'm, I think I'm more excited about this than the Huda now. <laughs> I'll have to play with makeup this week. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Empty box. Let me total this up real quick. The cover effects palette was 45. The motor brushes were 40. Oh, not 40. They were 29.99, so 30 bucks. The Iconic Eyebrow Cushion was 40 The Wonder Beauty Mask was 34 The Lashes were $25. Um, the It Cosmetics Confidence in the Cream was 48 Like I said, it's pricier. The Becca Lipstick was 24 The Morphe Palette was 16 That thing is $16 and it feels lovely. The Polish Duo was 20 and then the train case was 20. No, whatever. So that comes out to $302. I can't pick a favorite, but I can say <laughs> that Ipsy Plus has been really impressing me lately, but I wish they would get rid of the fair brushes because the fair brushes feel terrible. Um, but also everything that I got in Morchi this month is usable and I love and everything does fit in this little K2 
case that they gave us. I do have to say, I hate when we get nail polishes or cuticle oils or anything in these, but I do love Deborah Lipman, and somehow neither of these have gotten messed up, so it dries really freaking quick. If I had to pick an immediate winner, I guess it's BoxyCharm. Because <laughs> these, pa I love the orange here, the orangies. I love the nail polish. I love the cover effects thing. The it cosmetics, I love. Those alone are worth it to me this month. Oh, and that eyebrow thing I'm excited to use. Like these are pretty colors, but I don't know what's going on with those swatches. All right, that's it. This might be a long video, but that's what happens when you put two boxes in one. Um, <laughs> per usual, let me know what variations you got, which box you liked more, um, which you would keep one over the other, and that's it. If you could hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!